Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Malik and Code here, and today what I'm going to be showing you how to do a open and close button G on the GUI in Roblox. So let's get started. So on the first, on the starting page, you just want to go ahead to new, or first you might have to log in, but then you head to new, and then for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to go to the flat throne, just because it's sort of the easiest one you can do. Now you can use this with any thing you want, doesn't really matter. Uh, all the way, by the way, just ignore this, this is a plugin that I have. Uh, anyway, so the first thing you want to do to set up your GUI is you want to go over to start a GUI, hit the plus symbol, click screen GUI, hit the plus symbol on screen GUI, and then add the frame. Now the frame is the thing that you can see and that you will be able to close and won't be able to see and we will be able to see and all that. So just drag it out, I'm just going to centre mine, and just position it, let's just do that. Um, I'm just going to add a bit of colour to it, I sort of like the dark colours. Just like that. Just like that, so that is my GUI. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to this frame, I'm going to add a text button. Now what this text button will do is when we click it, this will be the button that closes the program. So I'm just going to scale it down to 50 by 50, place it in the corner, uh, background colour, just make it red, uh, background transparency, whatever, uh, border colour, we're just going to put to black gonna make this size 5. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna scroll down to text just so you know that it's a X button. I'm just gonna put X, I'm just gonna scale up a bit. Like that. Alright, so this is our button, this is the thing that we're gonna be closing. So you won't be able to see the button or the GUI. So what now what you want to do is go to the text button and you want to import a, a local script. Alright, just delete all this text. I'm just going to zoom in for you. Okay, so first of all, we want to identify what we are making the script come from. So when we, when we say script, that typically means what we're typing in. So in this case, we're typing in a local script so it immediately identifies this. Um, so we're going to do script dot parent because if you don't know what parent is, it is the thing that is holding the script. So the text button would be the parent. Um, so when we do script dot parent, so we're saying script dot parent, which typically means that we are identifying this as the button that we want to be clicked. So we're going to do script.parent dot mouse mouse button one down. Also if you don't know how I auto completed that, I just hit tab. Um, and then you want to do colon connect and then inside these two brackets you want to type function and make sure you have the three brackets here. You can't if you have it like that it won't work at all. So just go to the end, smash enter and then go down into the drop it down into the middle and so now what we're going to do is we're going to go again we're going to do script dot parent but instead of doing script dot parent just so it identifies that we want to because in here in all inside this line is the function that we want to happen when we click this text button so in this case we want the frame to close so we're going to do script dot parent dot parent as it's the one above which holds the two text which holds the text button and the local script. So we do script.parent.parent dot visible equals false. And um, oh, this is make sure you get your spelling correct. And also it's case sensitive to make sure you have lowercase s's for the script, capital P's for parents, everything everything that you need. Alright, so let's test this thing out. So we're going to a flat terrain. Sorry, you might not be able to see it as well. 
because I have the this plugin set. So now, whenever I click this, the GUI disappears. Um, I will be making a open GUI button in the future, which will, when you click over here or something, there'll be a button, and it will make the uh, GUI open up. And the X, when you hit the X button, it will just close it. So I'll make a tutorial on that very soon. So um, thank you all very, very much for watching, and remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.